Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. Excuse my rooster, he is going to be making a lot of noise in the background because we are in our barn. We thought we'd spend the last hour of our Friday uh, just making some cutting boards because we would like to start selling some of them on our website and I actually cut walnut special on the mill a few weeks back for this exact thing so we are going to uh, cut some down get some sanded and you guys can enjoy the ride so the idea with these cutting boards is that they are all going to be different. No cutting board is going to be exactly the same as the next. So this way you get a unique cutting board when you purchase them. We're using walnut because it's really hard. So it's great for cutting boards, but it's also very hard to cut. So. Yeah, there is a crack on that right there. So we're trying to decide whether the piece left before the crack starts is too small. Honestly, just cut it. We may as well just use it for something if it's not a cutting board. Now we have cut the cutting boards here. Cut the cutting boards. <laughs> That does not sound right. <laughs> um, all these cutting boards are going to have live edge on the side. Why? Because I like live edge and I think it looks cool. Uh, just watch as this goes through a major transformation to a just rough cut, kind of ugly board, honestly, to something very beautiful. We are going to start out by using a belt sander. This is just to get uh, the initial roughness out of it. Also, there are saw marks. You can see where the sawmill made little marks in the wood and the belt sander just helps get out those initial grooves because that can be hard to get out with a softer uh, sandpaper. So we're going to start out by using this thing. It's kind of crazy actually. You really have to hold it stable because it will whew, right out from under you and skin you. So kind of freaky to run, but it does the job very quickly. Trust me, this thing is crazy. All right, so these are the little marks that we're trying to get out here right now with this belt sander. I have a circular sander here that I'm going to use after Jade is done with the belt sander on them. We're going to trade pieces now. I'm gonna give her a rough one. I'm going to take the one that has had the belt sander on it and move on to the circular sander with a little bit smoother of a sandpaper on it. And that's going to be our system. I am going to be on the belt sander because Jade prefers the circular sander, which I don't blame her for. So I'll be with the scarier one, <laughs> but that's fine. Some of these are definitely imperfect. We'll just have to see uh, what happens as we continue to sand these down because they do have some blemishes. This one I don't think is salvageable. It has too much of a crack here and uh, I like the fact that it's live edge so I don't wanna take that off. I think that this piece is just gonna be scrap. Eventually here I'm going to start 
putting some warm water over it just with a washcloth to raise that grain and keep on sanding it. That is the trick. I am probably going to go to a thousand to two thousand grit on these. I like it to be very smooth, my cutting boards. My policy with it is usually that I start out with the with the rougher grits going against the grain and then as it gets closer to being finished I start going with the grain or in circular motions with it. Uh, why? I don't know. Intuition I guess. Let me know if there's some science behind that. I don't know just so that there aren't um, any scratch, scratches going against the grain, I guess, maybe. Um, but these are going to be very beautiful and I am so excited to see how they turn out. As far as what we are going to finish the boards with, I think I'm going to use a natural oil. Because it's going to be a cutting board, that means you are putting your food on it. And I don't want to use any type of polyurethane or other uh, synthetic finishers. I would like to use 100% uh, olive oil or grapeseed oil to finish off the boards and surprisingly you can do this if you get the board smooth enough there's a lot of research saying that like the smoother the board the more protection you have you can actually finish it with something natural and it can be perfect like that this is just what I'm going to do with my products just because I like to be on more of the natural end of things and I wouldn't personally want my food going on something with a synthetic finish on it. So I'm going to finish all of these, like I said, with 100% natural oils like olive oil or grapeseed oil. I don't know yet, I haven't really decided. I'm not to that point in my projects yet, but I want to get at least a few cutting boards uh, to a point where they can be finished and I'm going to try to at least sell them on my website if you guys would like to check that out. I don't have any on there yet because you can see where we are with them so far. So they're not done yet, but they are going to be and I'm going to get them up on the website. So make sure to check that out in a few weeks if you guys want a cutting board. We were messing around with the idea of getting some kind of wood burning stamp with our logo on it or something that said Lumber Capital Log Yard. Maybe the date. I think it's always cool when you get the date on things because then you can look back and remember the day that you got it. 15 years later, you can be like, hey, it's been 15 years. This cutting board's pretty old. I've always thought that that was cool. Uh, so I want to at least put the date on some of them, maybe on the back. I can always just do it on the back side. I think that I will also take in some custom orders as well if you guys would like something custom burnt in as long as it's not something crazy because um, I'm not that good with wood burning. I've been there, I've tried that. Um, I'm not terrible, but I'm not gonna do anything too fancy. Uh, but if you want your name or something on there, that would be kind of cool, I feel like. I could do that. So let me know in the comments section what you guys think of that. I cut all of these boards at five quarter and we were assuming that maybe a fourth of it would be lost. So these should be about one inch when we're done with them. Um, and th I thought maybe about cutting some thicker ones as well. The cutting board we have in our own house is huge and I think it's like two inches thick. So it's pretty thick, it's pretty big. That one's maple, uh, spalted maple, it's absolutely beautiful. And we did the same thing with that, only natural oils on it. And I absolutely love that cutting board. I will not ever go back. I absolutely love walnut, so I am excited to see what these look like finished. Walnut just turns out absolutely beautiful. What a rich color that walnut has, especially these, I just know that they will go through quite a transformation, like I said. Uh, just, just you guys wait to see that. I am very excited about that. I will also probably put little legs on them just so they will be up off of the counter a little bit. Uh, when I say little legs, I mean like they're little tiny little circles that you just put on there, just a tiny bit, but that I think will add a nice final touch. I'm also making them so that the wider end is the end that you cut on. So this side with the slant of the live edge going this way will be actually the bottom. So it will have a little bit of an angle to it. And there's a very interesting and specific reason why I do this. 
When you are cutting um, on the cutting board and you have all of your vegetables cut, you can actually use it as a way to just scrape right off into your hand onto there. So if you're using it like that, that wouldn't really make any sense. But if you have it facing you like that, then you can easily just take your food off right like that. Whereas like this, it might be a little bit more of a mess. I, I don't know if you guys get what I mean when I say that, but um, if you guys have worked in the kitchen, you'll know what I mean by that. Um, designing your cutting board in a easy and efficient way to use is more important than you'd think. And there's a lot more thought process that goes into it than just a board sanded. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys Monday. Enjoy your weekend.